This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Being your best self feels good. Don't fight us on this one. Ask your friends. Visit betterhelp.com slash jefffm and take care of number one. This podcast is also brought to you by SeatGeek. Live events are back and that means you're getting $20 off tickets at SeatGeek with promo code Jeff. If you don't know what SeatGeek is, they're a ticketing app that makes buying tickets super simple. I've got the app on my phone and it's by far the easiest way to buy tickets to any events I'm going to, whether it's concerts, fights in Las Vegas or wherever. SeatGeek rates every ticket from 0 to 10 to make sure you're getting a good deal. Green means good, red means bad. I just use SeatGeek to buy tickets to a fight and I hit up my connect over at SeatGeek and I said, hey, can you get me free tickets? And they said, no. We can't, but we could give you a promo code. And they gave me my own promo code. And I actually had that same promo code for you guys. It's code Jeff for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Jeff. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Code Jeff for $20 off your first SeatGeek order. Happy Halloween, everyone. It's the spooky season. It's time to fucking raise hell, everyone. If you're at home right now and you're looking for something to do, go outside and throw eggs. Vandalize something. Go do graffiti. Go do a crime. Fucking, you know, I got my boys in town. These two guys right here are my best friends from my childhood. They've never done a podcast. They've never done anything on camera in their entire lives. Their Instagrams are private. Our stories from over the years are very incriminating. But we're not going to get into those today. I don't think. Maybe. Depends on how free they think they want to get. That's our new best friend. We also have Liam sitting in. Guys. He clicked with the crew like we've been friends for years. And we're all having a blast. We've spent a week together. How has your guys' week been so far since you've been here? Fucking hectic. You having fun, Sal? A lot of mixed emotions. Yeah? Happiness. Excitement. You guys were here last night. We talked about 4 a.m. I showed you guys my Crane documentary. And you told me that I am exactly the same person from when we were kids. Yeah. And that meant a lot to me. Because sometimes I feel like I'm nuts. I feel like I'm bloodthirsty. But I you, are kill. Nuts. you are nuts. You are nuts. But I've, I've stayed, I've maintained the same amount of craziness. Hot in here. Is it? It's freezing cold. I need a really? jacket. Get him. Yeah. Let's kick this thing off. Let's fucking shock the world. Let's shock Sal in his leg. <laughs> I don't know how this will read oh, to the audio listeners, oh, but let's start off with some pain. <laughs> Shabon, what happened? I'm nervous. Are you a bitch now? <laughs> Are you Did scared? You fuck this whole thing up. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? Let's not blow things out of proportion. Don't play with that. Don't play with that. <laughs> it's very dangerous. <laughs> it might come off any second. Okay, let me turn these effects off for real. So we're going to get into some stories today. We're going to talk about my childhood, my dark past. I think it is the perfect time to get into these stories because it's the spooky season. People are, are out looking to be... Probably, that probably sucks if you're listening to this in your headphones right now, out for a jog, and you think, yeah. let me listen to this inspirational podcast, and you just hear taser fucking sounds the whole time. I'll slug it out on this show. <laughs> All right, me yeah. too. Let's a do it. A fight might break out fuck? on this episode. I, I suggest you Let's watch it. it. If you guys are listening now, just the audio version. Oh, he threw a shot at you in the face. <laughs> How much is it hurt? We fucking How much is it hurt? <laughs> <laughs> look, he's, he's look. Drop he's, it. He neutralized Move your hand. I drop it. Drop it. I drop it. Weave it. Let me. Okay. Thirty years old. There you go. <laughs> so look, here's the thing with these guys. Here's the thing with these guys. We <laughs> have. Look, that's how you want to. You messed up his hair. 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 You messed up we're not even two minutes in. You can't get in a fight already. At least let it build to that. I love you going to do that shit. I didn't tease you. I joked around like that and I put it on the table, bro. You picked up and teased me, bro. Stop playing with We've all got friends that we've grown up with. We've, we got with the high school. Go fuck yourself. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Take it out. You guys may be familiar with the podcast, the Scott Cast. That was my initial podcast when I was too scared to name a podcast after myself because I don't want to have all that weight on me, all that pressure. Now I'm okay with it. Over the years, I got used to talking and putting myself out there and being vulnerable on camera. You guys, I believe, will get used to it. 
But there was once, I hear the breathing from you guys' fucking tension already. Take it easy, everybody. Take it easy, all right? I would think about this a lot. I'd overthink it. What do I look like on camera? What am I saying? I want to put myself out there on the internet. Everybody's going to think I'm a clown. But you get the hang of it. Now, Scott Cast was a podcast that I did with Scott, who was a famous musician. And I made him be the face of the podcast. And there was one time when Scott went on tour, and I had to do the podcast by myself. So I was like, what story do I tell here? Do I tell my mom's 9-11 story that I always go to? Do I tell the Shaban suck my dick six flag story where you two fought? And I told all those stories. I put them all in one. And everybody from, well, I think a lot of people remember that story. I think since story. me and Sal always fight, but we love each other the most, I think it's time for us to fuck you up. Fucking come at me, Shaban. I dare you all ninja this fucking whole room. What do you think about that, Sal? Sal and I are mature enough to not get into it. You bitch. are the only problem that antagonizes all of us. Maybe you're the root of the problem here. We've spent about a week together. We've had a good time most of the time. You guys have always gotten into it. You guys fight about a lot of stuff, but we are all really good friends. We're all complete opposites, but we're all exactly the same. It's a weird thing. Yeah, it's a love-hate relationship. It's a very weird relationship we got. And you two, I don't know how you are still friends at this point in your life, how you still are in contact. It's shocking to me, but you know what? I love having you shocking guys around. Shocking to me too after this episode. Very shocking. I'm still feeling the shocks going through my <laughs> spine right now. We're all instigators. We're all troublemakers. We all like to shake things up a bit. I brought you guys out here to help me out with my launch of the product company because I was under a lot of stress. You two have always been there with me from the start. So I thought it's only right to have you guys here for this week. And thank you for, you know. Yeah, thanks for having us. I'm moving out here, by the way. Talking to your mic or you're not ever going to be on the show ever again. All right. I guess we're fucking shit up tonight, Liam. Jeff FM. Rest that. in peace to Jeff FM. No, I'll keep doing it. I'll mm -hmm. just do it with fucking people in Hollywood that know how to act on sets and talking to microphones. Liam learned this. He learned how to do this in about one episode. And then he was co-hosted with Michael Bisping, fucking prize fighter, world champion commentator. And he sat right in. He did everything but back me up and say that I'm actually taking training serious. Our dear friend God, Michael. Actors. Yeah, our dear friend Michael. Liam sat here and said, yeah, these, these guys are YouTubers. They're not taking it serious. And then I was like, I'm being serious. I'm being serious, Michael. And he took he took it as I'm a fucking joke. But whatever. Liam and I sparred the next day, punched each other in the face, we took it out on each other. Sometimes friends just need to fight. So this is what we're gonna do. We're all gonna talk calmly. We're gonna take our time. We're gonna have a nice conversation. We're not gonna talk over each other. We're not gonna fist fight. We're not gonna tase each other. This is an audio podcast. People wanna listen to it and they wanna have a good laugh. Whether they're going out for a jog or they're Maybe sitting at work doing some fucking accounting, doing some numbers or something like that. They want to just listen up and have a good laugh. Listen to people they can relate to. Everybody's got problems with family and friends and they get into arguments. Sometimes they have a, a jokester in their family that comes over to tase them. And they might not like that. What do you do if somebody comes at you with a taser? You stab them with a fucking one of these things. What is wow. You could stab them. <laughs> why, with why are all these dangerous weapons put in <laughs> near us for the show? You can... You can Neutralize a taser with a samurai sword <laughs> or a screwdriver or maybe even speaking a Snapple of, bottle. Speaking to David, where's my PlayStation? We did a PR run that was a little unorthodox. We went around town. Oh, all it's around. in the kitchen, the PlayStation. Yeah, I'll be back. I'm no, no, no. Don't, we could just show a picture of the PlayStation. You don't have to go get I David's break PlayStation. It. I want to taser it and break no, it. No, no. We got to get inside that PlayStation and see if we could find some CP. You know what that means? Not really, but... <laughs> It's a term for something that you can't mention. You'll get shut down on the internet. We're going to bust it open. We're going to find it. Not bust it open. We're going to hack it. We're going to hack the PlayStation. We're going to find out what dirt he's hiding. And we're going to blackmail him into helping me promote my company. We launched Jeff's Barbershop Hair Products this week. And it was a great success. <sighs> yeah. That's we almost got, we almost got <laughs> this show opened up to a fist fight. <laughs> Yeah. We almost got arrested about a hundred times doing it. Yeah, talking to your mic, or I'm going to come over there and punch your fat fucking square head. Come try it, you fucking skinny prick. <laughs> I'll be, skinny prick, I possess knockout power in go both get, hands. Go get the boxing gloves. I think I can box Jeff in here right now. I don't think he can, Shabon. Uh, 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 I thought you were I my like boy. I you. I am, but no, it's not. If I hit, him with a, I hit him with a 944, where's that kid, Taylor, what's his name? Taylor Regan? Taylor Swift. Stay on track here. You, you called me out to fight just now, and then you want to go back to Taylor Holder. He fucked you up, so I'm going to fuck you up all Never stuff. fucked me up. <laughs> Never fucked me up once. I've never been fucked up in my life. Besides uh, the crane, right? Besides the crane. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's it. You want to fucking that start made, with that? That made you famous? See, this is what good <laughs> friends are. Real friends will tell you things like that. 
He goes the other day, he goes, you know you got famous from your accident, right? <laughs> At first, Nerf launched you to stardom. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I, I'd rather that be the thing, you know? But you want to just low blow, Shabon. That's what you do. You fucking hit people where it hurts, and you really, you really enjoy fucking with people. Now, we met back in the barbershop where you were just a square-headed Albanian that was walking around the shop sweeping up because your cousin owned it. And I was... I saw you, and I've never seen anybody with a square-shaped head before, so I was intrigued. I was Jeff like, was actually a good kid back then. He went to school, took two hours to do his hair, never left the house without doing his hair. Then he got into a couple fights, and he just fucking... You're actually a good kid. Thank you. In bad ways. Thank you. So back to that story. Yeah, don't cut me off when I'm telling stories. That's how podcasts work. We, wanna, we want, this to be, <laughs> want this to be listenable for people. So I saw you in the barbershop with your square head. And I've never seen a human being with a head shaped like that. So I was interested in, you know, what's this guy up to? And you really enjoyed fucking with people. You really enjoyed breaking balls. And so did I. And we kind of hit it off with that. And that's kind of where Jeff's Barbershop started. It was back then. We were just fucking with people and cutting hair. And that's still what we do to this day. And that's what we've been doing all week. We've been going around shaking up this town, strong arming people to help me launch this company. It's been very successful so far. Yeah, I had a fun video. You got to meet everybody in this town and made friends. And yeah, look, here's a, here's a video. You get an actual fight with a random Samaritan on the street. And I haven't seen this in a while. You put look, your shit down, pull the pants up. I put the PlayStation down. Yeah, you put the PlayStation you just stole from David's house. There comes Liam getting in. And there we go to back you up because we saw the pants pull and we know when you do this action this motion right here You pull up the pants because you're actually gonna fight Sal, Sal, this It was it didn't it didn't require violence It did it and the guy's right the guy also lives in Beverly Hills and pays a ton of money in taxes and doesn't want anybody blocking his driveway So yeah. you got to feel for him. Wanna... He kept cursing. I understand I would be cursing too if you guys blocked my driveway and I Look, live look at David's lamp <laughs> Yeah, we, we took some things from David's house and we got into it with one of his neighbors. The situation was uh, settled by Sal. He was able to talk his way out of it and we all got out of there with nobody getting hurt. Thank God. For other reasons, we came here to rob him. This guy was ready for war. I just said we came here to rob this house. We're bad guys. And let's just let this be and walk away. He didn't fold that guy. No, he was about it. Zero ankle support and slides on. Yeah, he was in slippers, he came out of his house, and he was ready to fight you, and everyone. So I respect that guy a lot. Liam, what do you think of these guys? Good guys. Good guys? Solid. We spent a lot of time together, from about, I'd say, 16 to yeah, I was 19. About, I was about 14, yeah. Oh, you were about 14 when we started hanging out, and then Sal came into the mix. Sal no, was the Sal's older guy. Sal's always been my friend. Sal's been my friend since I'm fucking 12, 12 years old. Yeah. And then I introduced you to Sal, right? I think so. I think you introduced me to Sal, and then Sal came to me to get a haircut, and he was the, probably one of the pickiest clients I've ever had. He wouldn't even trust me. We He's were got best amazing friends. hair, though. Look at his hair. We were best friends, and he wouldn't even trust me to cut his hair. Yeah, because all you do is fuck around. I fuck around, but I'm a skilled barber. You are. And I made a goddamn career out of it. You are. The crazy thing about all of this is none of us went to school. We all just caused trouble, hung out in barbershops. Sal actually did go to school. Pot. Sal's probably the most intelligent Sal's people. very educated, but that's from his time in uh summer High school camp. summer college. camp so went went to college? college yeah he's going to csi yeah csi college yeah, is down to, college to of stupid idiots sal used to get parking tickets let's talk about this story sal used to get parking tickets so one day i come back from lake george right with my family i go in the store there's 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 uh dark gun what is it what is it blow done. The, the blow dart guns yeah blow gun. so, yes. oh yeah yeah yeah. so yeah. for a week straight sal would get tickets parking tickets every day at csi so mm. one day he picks me up he's fed up the whole day he's fucking Fuming. I'm like, Sal, look what I got. I got all one of my friends, one of these things. These things are cool. Maybe we'll go shoot them at trees. He's like, all right. <laughs> at trees. At trees are fucking. Yeah, I was young. Yeah, I was it, was like a, it was a 14. We would blow this dart, and Sal was a master at it. He was able to hit people from about a 90 yard distance. 90 yard Nat natural, distance. Natural. It was crazy. Natural. Yeah. Very crazy. We went to CSI or CSI co the, co the cops, the kids that, they're yeah. the young kids that give tickets. In his yeah. car, we went. And yeah. the guy was in the middle of giving me a ticket. <laughs> yeah. Perfect timing. So Sal's like, hold on. He jumps in the back, he puts the fucking thing in and <laughs> right directly in, the in its fucking chest. <laughs> With a needle, a blow dart. So <laughs> they hit you, it feels like you got, you don't know if you got shot, you don't know if you got stung by a bee. That's it about just, it's three it's, feet long and about a half a pound. <laughs> <laughs> it's just bobbling out yeah, of this guy's chest. Like that's, that, was <laughs> us, that was us <laughs> at CSI. He dropped out of his knees. Car. That was just a, a little hobby of ours. We would go around and look for our enemies and just... 
<laughs> right into the neck, right into the, and sometimes we'd get each other. Forget about that. One day we were driving. I'm driving. No, Sal's driving. He's doing about sixty. He said, "Let's see how good my aim is." We're on Bradley <laughs> Avenue. We're on Bradley going to, uh, coming from Wagner, shooting down Bradley towards Victory Boulevard, and he sees a guy. He shoots. We're doing. He's doing sixty miles an hour while he's driving with his knees in. <laughs> hits the guy. It lands on his hand. The guy starts yelling, ah! <laughs> flinging his hand like this. <laughs> I was getting bored of of of, of uh, yeah, still darts. shots. Google, uh, we had a blow dart gun that we would drive we had around. Multiple of them, multiple of them. Multiple. Yeah, it was a hobby of ours. We would go hit people with the blow darts, and they were harmless. It kind of feels like a tranquilizer dart hits you, and it's a bit like of a shock at first. Like but there was nothing. There was no uh, poison in them or anything like that. We were just doing it for. For for a good laugh, and yeah. we were also degenerate eighteen year olds. If you're get, giving us parking tickets, then fucking you know expect to get hit. How, with a few how about fucking- the t- how about the time? How about the time I'm in a full blown blown cast, right? Yeah, I had a little accident when I was younger. <laughs> It's about 10 years ago, right? I'm sitting in Sal's car. He just bought a brand new Mercedes. We're in a parking lot on Richmond Avenue, and we're fucking, we're bored. We're just throwing fireworks out. Sal pulls Not up. Not fireworks. M80s. The M80s. Big, you know what course, M80s? Like the, they were like yeah. quarter-sick of dynamites. Yeah, yeah. So Pineapples. Like, that's what they were called. Pineapples. Pa- pineapples. So, Backtrack a little bit. Guys, Why were you in a body cast? Why were you in a full body cast? I Try got into a little accident when I was younger. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. I don't want to give no so clout you, to anybody. You were hit by a car, right? Yeah, yeah. You were in a full body cast. Not full body cast, but I had a he cast. He got hit by a car because he was in the middle of beating up an entire neighborhood of kids. <laughs> so they figured the only way to stop that assault it, was to get in a car and physically run him over. Okay. You to were, stop him. Yeah. So, you, right. so you got blasted so by I got the blasted, car. I got blasted a car. And now, what is a couple weeks after you're in a full body cast and you guys are just driving around Yeah, we just he picked me up. We're driving around. You wanted to get out of the house, go for go for. Uh, they a picked me up the first day. He picked me up. I, I'm in the hospital. He puts me in a pickup truck in a wheelchair, and we're driving around. I'm in the back of the back of the pickup truck, strapped down, and we're driving around. Yeah. Make long story short, two weeks go by. We go pick up. I finally got my cast. I'm, st- I'm starting to feel all right. We're throwing. We started to test them. We're throwing them into the woods harmlessly. Yeah, yeah M80s throwing and, them in the in woods. the woods, right? Yeah. Yeah, like Arthur Kill Road somewhere over so, there. So our friend Victor uh, was. Like 15 feet away in his car, but he was outside. So we, yeah. Sal said, like, let me fuck with Victor. Yeah. He knew he was throwing fireworks. Let me fuck with him. He throws the firework. It lands on the on the, on the the ceiling. It lands right on my lap. <laughs> and he's in a full body cast. And the car's in drive, so the door's automatically locked. And you can only unlock it by so like, like oh, secret So I'm like, ah, Sal's yelling. Ha, 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 What do I do? So what do I got to do? I, I got in the car. I jumped I, out while I, it's still driving. And the M80 is in his crotch area in this full body cast. And he's immobile in a locked car. Driving five <laughs> miles an hour on Richmond Avenue. I jump. I jump. <laughs> <laughs> That's the cast he was in. That's not him. That's the cast he was in. <laughs> Make looks so short. I jump in the back. I don't know how God gave me some type of energy to jump in the back. <laughs> but now, he was stuck upside down with his legs stuck. at the sunroof. <laughs> My- White cast legs <laughs> hopping out the sunroof. Oh, he is. Boom! <laughs> Smoke everywhere, and the car's still driving five miles an hour. Sal's chasing it, but he's laughing. Because I'm trying to get in to stop the car so doesn't have an accident. Now, mind, it's still yeah. driving and drive. Yeah. Now, mind you, I can't move. I'm yeah. stuck. My head's stuck out the sunroof. Yeah. My legs are stuck between the seats, <laughs> yeah. and he's laughing at me. He's because laughing. he has a white cast on, and it's like 40% black <laughs> from smoke and like debris. So you had a, a basically a quarter stick of dynamite blow up in your crotch while you were no, in a no, full I, body I, cast. I, I, thank God I was quick and I able to do what I had to do and I moved away because if not. But you were in the car when uh, basically half a stick of dynamite went off. That kind of yeah, looks like. That's me. Yeah, that's there. There you go. That's like that's not us, but very close to yeah, the situation. Yeah. I introduced you guys in the Scott cast and I told the story about how we went to Six Flags and we were just. I mean, how do you explain how we were, our dynamic between the Mayhem, three of us? Chaos. Uh, sneaky, slimy, creepy, great, loyal friends. Yeah. For instance, Sal, get in the wheelchair so we can skip the lines in Great Adventure. Oh, that was good. Shaban, drive the wheelchair. Oh, we pretended that you that were. I, had a spra- cause I, I did. I had a sprained ankle. So, so we, we exaggerated we a little exaggerated bit so we could it. get the wheelchair because that was an easy way to get a fast pass. If you go Correct. to an amusement park, yeah. you usually have to pay an extra brought, he, 300 bucks or something to cut the lines or something like that. you don't even get to cut it. You yeah, still have to you wait, still have to that, wait that, that time, line. just come if back. If you get a wheelchair at the amusement park- now I was get, the patient, the victim. You were the victim, but also you didn't have I to walk I think you even wrapped your foot. We even wrapped his foot. We wrapped To make it look legit. You gave me your pass from a broken ankle that you had in the past. Yeah. And you also decided to be my driver. 
and you also decide to possibly kill me, rolling me down a hill 60 miles an hour. So Shaban was in charge of rolling Sal around. Yeah, we did bump you into a lot of things. And you did have a slight actual injury, so we weren't like completely lying, but we were just exaggerating the truth to get us on these rides faster. So we start going on the rides, and you're not a big fan of roller coasters. He's no, not a big never fan. Never was. I he, became one later in life, but at that point, I was very uh, anti roller coaster. Forget about all that. Sorry to cut you off. We go on Nitro, right? I'm scared to death of roller coasters. We go on Nitro. We're climbing up. We're climbing up the thing, and this fucking kid starts taking my seatbelt off. <laughs> <laughs> I unclipped it. He unclipped it the seatbelt off. Now, mind you, the top of the <laughs> Now I'm holding it down because I feel bad. I'm actually get launched out of space <laughs> back to Albania. <laughs> Bro, he, I was scared to death. Thank God he put it back on. I would have been dead. I would have never been here. Right I got now. it back in because I was really nervous. Yeah. I don't want to jail probably for that. This was a real bonding day for us. This day will go down in history of one of the fucking wildest days that we all had together. So they get into it and Shaban's tagline was always suck my dick. That's what he would say to get out of any argument, whether it was to his friend, to a fucking group of fucking gang members that were trying to rob him. He'd always say suck my dick. So yeah, that's the most disrespectful. Sal, yeah, it's thing a very disrespectful to... thing. Now Sal was the older one. He was a more serious one, but also fucking insane as well. I mean, Sal and I, we respected each other. You know, I was uh, uh, yeah. one of my two years younger than you. Or you know, Shaban was like, what, "Are you fucking my? Are you my age?" No, I'm two years younger. Than two you. years younger than me. Yeah. So okay, so you were like a younger brother. I was like the middle. And Sal was the oldest. Yeah. So we had respect for Sal, but Sal also gets stressed out all the time. And it's funny to see him angry. I'll admit. <laughs> it kind of is. Yeah. It's funny to see me angry. <laughs> so <laughs> great friends. <laughs> now I, I I wouldn't I wouldn't antagonize Sal as much as you would, but this day you said your tagline a lot. You burnt it out, and Sal was sick of hearing you say "suck my dick." After he rolled me down a ninety degree hill, yeah. At about 18 miles an hour in a wheelchair with no brakes and I went launching into Skull Mountain with my skull. So let's not forget that very important <laughs> yeah, I, piece I, I of left that detail out in the podcast that I did back did. when I was did, did it by myself but yeah. I forget stories. I was hit with a they crane. They renamed it after that. Yeah. Skull Mountain after I crashed into it. <laughs> yeah. I was hit by a crane. I forgot a lot of stories and I've done so much in my life since I left Staten Island where you guys still kind of live. Yeah. You know, I have to make room for the in insignificant memories with all my stories with partying with Justin Bieber and all the celebrities and all of the, the beautiful women that I've dated over the years. I don't have time to remember all these little fucking details of these stories. Yeah. You rolled them down the hill and that's what you pissed them off. You, you kind of told me to do it. You, you actually pushed the wheelchair a little faster. Yeah, I instigated a little bit, but you are the ones to do all these That's things, Shabon. That's why he Siobhan. pushes it into the insignificant category. If yeah, I, he wants to erase it. If I tell you to fucking conscience. jump off a bridge, are you going to do it? Absolutely not. Maybe you would back then. <laughs> I had a hold on you. I was able to control your fucking brain. Did you? Yeah. That fucking square brain of yours. That's in that square head. You know, it's crazy. I have a square head, but both of these kids have bigger heads than me. We teased you about your big head. Now, I was teased as and a kid. And never bothered me. I was teased as a kid. My, bro my brother and sister teased me and always said that I had a giant head. And I believed it. I believed no, I it. Care. I'm Albanian. All Albanians have big heads. There we go. That's us. We are the new GTA. We will be the new entourage. <laughs> Where did that come from? Out here just doing <laughs> crime. Sick, right? Out in Hollywood, we're just gonna take well, over and fucking strong arm I, everybody. Yo, Sal, that looks just like you. It's a nice tape. You smoke yeah. cigars. That's really no nice. More. I used to smoke cigars. That's Jeff really might, nice. Jeff might have gave you that haircut, right? Yeah, possibly. I think he did. Possibly. Back to the story. So we're all at Six Flags having a good time for the first half of the day, and then we get too far, and you push Sal down. Yeah, and he's he, pissed he's, off, he and he does. It. Sal does not want to go on the rides anymore. He does not want to participate. He's now in pissed off mode. Yeah, that's Albanians. How they. How they look. No offense to all the Albanian community. This is a joke on my friend here, and I love Albanians. I grew up with him. Talk they have my Albanian. back. Mahashkadi. <laughs> that means suck my dick in Albanian. Yeah. I grew up with all Albanians. It was kind of like Italians and Albanians in, in Staten Island. They yeah. bonded very well, and we all we all had each other's back. And yeah, uh, I love the Albanian community. I don't mean anything. It's just a joke. And they wonder why I go crazy and fuck with them so much. <laughs> yeah, we're like brothers. We're all yeah. like brothers. And uh, yeah, it meant a lot to me what you guys said the other night because, you know, I, I left for a long time. I had to make all new friends, a whole new life out here. And a lot of stuff's happened, obviously smashing my head up. I think about am I the same person? And you guys... Nah, you might be a little smarter. You take it easy now. You're not doing reckless shit. Yeah. I mean, for the past week that we He just threw a you. smoke bomb at us in the yeah, middle but that's, of Hollywood that's Boulevard. Normal. Well, he would have th threw it in normal. fucking three stores if, uh, seven years ago. Yeah, I calmed down a little bit, but when we all get together, it is just, it's dangerous. Yeah. When I'm with Liam, it's dangerous too. Yeah, all Liam he wants to do is fucking smack people around and beat people up. Yeah, I don't. 
you're fucking rat. Would you tell that kid? <laughs> Crack them. Can yeah. Tell me he's a rat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he is a rat. A rat yeah, you slapped them, and it was good. It was real. We actually I'm went around serious. town and we I'm shipped people up. Yeah. <laughs> I'm being serious, mate. I'm being serious. The guys are snitch, right? Yeah. Everyone's throwing right. fake punches. He throws a liver punch about 60 miles an hour. It's the kids. The kids like, he went in the house after that to like, recuperate. Matt King, he blasted with a real shot to the chest. Um, let's stay on track here, though. You told I, me that he's no good. Uh, yeah, Matt King is no good, and he deserved the blow you gave him. So After the PR run, Matt King FaceTimed me, he pulled his shirt up, and he had a red <laughs> fist mark on his chest. So, yeah, the shots we threw at people, we used real violence for the PR run, and that's never been done before, so that's a first that we created, and I'm proud of that. <laughs> that's never been done before. But let's get back to the story, because it's so funny that us three were there to have a good time. We we got ourselves in that mess from cutting the lines with our fucking scam move that we were pulling with the handicap thing, which you'll probably go to hell for. We but Sal's not at all. He fucking unbuckled my life. You rolled me down a hill. But you did it yeah, first. Wheelchair. Sal got really pissed off. And when Sal gets in his pissed off moods, it's hard to get him out of it. We all have a bit of anger problems, but you and I are easier to let things go. Sal is a bit more serious than us. I'm working on it, Liam. So Good he got job, very Sal. mad at you. He was sick of hearing you tell him to suck your dick so he found a way to neutralize your tagline and he said take it out shaban take it out i want to suck your dick come on i didn't take say that, it out i did take it out okay yeah, take it out i'm gonna do it right here and in there's the families the around the the yeah there's families around people that went to an amusement park to have a good time you know that's what a traditional family does they go take their kids and we're there and you're just screaming suck my dick and he's saying take it out <laughs> So you guys now are at a crossroads here, you know? Calling his bluff in a parking lot. You call Because it's bluff. all he's doing is saying that to instigate and make me mad. So that's yes. what I call his bluff out, maybe he'll shut up. No. I did not want to see his body parts. Yes. I did not want to know anything further about yeah. his genealogy. Fair enough. But now there was nowhere to go. Anatomy, you guys had, genealogy. it was a car crash. You guys had met. You instigated now. a little bit. You said, wow, he told you to suck his dick out, really? You instigated a little bit. I think he even pushed the wheelchair a little faster at the end, too. <laughs> now, at this point, things got ugly. You guys started fist fighting. Two friends, just me, the third guy, the third wheel. And you guys are fist fighting in an amusement park with you families were all around. Each, pushing, each, pushing one of us into, into each, each other. other. Okay. <laughs> You're a scumbag friend now that I think about it. That's not true. From what I remember, I tried to break the fight up. I let it go for about 30 seconds, but then after that, Who I broke won it the up. fight? It wasn't a real fight. Who Sal won the fight? Won. No, Sal won. It wasn't a real fight. Who won the fight? I beat him. No, it's not, that's not true. <laughs> I never lost a fight in my life. All so right, it wasn't a real fight. But it wasn't a real fight. Bro, you lost a fight to that car after they blasted you and you were in a body yeah, cast. just like you and the crane. It's fine. But at least you became rich. If you lose the machinery. You became famous because of it, so you should be proud, bro. You're right, you're right, you're right. I monetized my <laughs> fucking you accident. Your statement. I didn't say I won, but you can't say you won. It's, it's that's off cut. Lie. Retracted. Did you beat me? Did we, just, it wasn't I, did a fight. I, I beat you. No, just but retract, it was retracted. I'm going to be honest, bro. Retract. You were, Jeff, you, were Jeff. you were 15. Sal was 19. Wait, you there. lost the fight. Wait, there. okay. You lost that fight. Well, nobody got punched in the face. In a 19 year old. We, we were squaring off. No, bro. You landed shots. Shots were landed. I remember the fight. I, I might not remember every detail of the story because of all my stories with celebrities and hanging out with them <laughs> and partying with them. But I remember that you guys actually fist fought and then we had to get in the car and it's a three hour drive back to Staten Island from Six Flags because it's so fucking far <laughs> Which away. Which we got pulled over for doing 110. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So that ride was fucking painful on the, on the way home. You stopped the fight? I eventually stepped in and, and they didn't want to fight because we're all friends. No, so we hugged each other after. Yeah, afterwards. But now we, now we have to drive home after I these two. I don't know who won the fight though. It's not a win-lose thing. It was stopped. It was like a so no it contest. A it was, was a no a contest. It was a no contest. I wouldn't say draw. Sal was maybe getting the best of him, and then it was a no contest. The referee called it doctor stoppage. Tased doctor me first. stoppage. Tased me first. Threw the first punch. See the pattern here? Which, whatever. It's a, This is a learning experience. We're all growing, and we're sharing our, our mistakes to help these kids that watch grow and learn from our mistakes so they don't have to make them. We're driving home after the fight and after our day at Six Flags that was ruined by your, your two guys' beef. And you get a phone call from a guy who is a giant, six foot six, a fucking freak athlete, the school quarterback, star quarterback. Jason um, Momoa's cousin. Yeah, basically. He calls you and you happen to be messing around with his girlfriend. What did you tell him on suck the phone? My dick. <laughs> suck, suck my dick. <laughs> he tell him suck my dick. Yeah, yeah, him with the tag Mind on. you, I had slippers on. I had slippers on, fucking a bathing, bathing suit so and a tank you, top. Okay, yeah. I got a question. So did you have to go meet him and have a fight? Oh, yeah, we met him. So now we you know all... know we met him? 
That yeah. Wait, it comes outside of a karate black belt dojo to kid in a gi, a full gi. <laughs> what did you, you do? just fought Royce Gracie and uh, Booker T in the back parking lot. I get out the car. No, first of all, we stop at 7-Eleven. This is, this is after the three-hour drive. We stop at 7-Eleven. Shabon needs to get bottles. a weapon, so he gets a Snapple bottle. For some reason, that was a go-to weapon in Staten Island. We would use that all the time. It's a glass bottle of iced tea. I know what it is. So they don't even me. make them glass anymore, and I think Shabon is single-handedly the reason why they, <laughs> they recalled all the glass bottles, and now they made them plastic. He t- gets out of the car to fight this giant I and get now, out the car, the kid is... And look, we're, we we all just got into it. We hate each other right now. We all are fucking sick of each other at this time. So this was now bringing us back together because now we had beef with somebody else. So Shaban gets out to fight this kid and we're like, what are we doing? What, like, why the fuck would Shaban come here to fight this kid out of all people? The guy was a foot taller than you. You get out with your Snapple bottle, your wife beat her on, your fucking... Big exactly. stomach hanging. Your big stomach hanging out, your bathing suit on, and your slippers. And you've, you've overhand the Snapple bottle off the guy's face, shatters it off of his face, does nothing. The guy eats it. He literally it. just wiped the glass off his face. I don't think he wiped it. I think I vividly remember him chewing and <laughs> <laughs> spitting out pieces of glass and then ripping his shirt off like Hulk Hogan. That and, then, and then he starts throwing his shots like this, just punching down to Shabon. Shabon's throwing his shots up. One, two, three shots, and then he lands one. Shabon throws three. He'll land one. Starts landing two. But Sal gets out. There? Sal gets out of the car. Comes over. Starts fighting with no, the guy no, too. Sal, no, no. Sal's his friend pulls out a knife. No, no. First that I got came out of the after. Car and I went after the kid when you were fighting. Sal Liam, came I'm, over. Liam, I'm hand this because, kid. Because Shabon. You, I'm hitting with him. Shabon. Hey, he trust me. He's not moving. Shabon, you were busy. You were busy. Where, where I saw you, this. Jeff? I was in the car too. Sat, Why didn't you get out the car? We got out of the car. He did, but he was watching the other kid. There was another kid there that was like shady with thing in the back in his back pocket. We didn't know what it was at the time. It happened to be a very big switchblade. A very too, big like, switchblade. Like a seven inch switchblade. So I kept so that guy. Circling I kept him. that guy busy. I go over there, and now I'm the guy with the knife. You, you're in big trouble, buddy. You want to fuck around with that? Wrong move. You got the wrong guys. And then Sal goes over to help Shaban in the fight. Now they're both fighting this fucking giant. They're both swinging punches over, and I'm like, all right, I got this guy over here distracted. I turn over, blast the one shot. He blasted him, the kid died. He was on the floor, have it sh- white things were coming out of his mouth. We look at him, we so jump I through I damage. threw this shot. Now it's Jeff a side wrap. First of all, and it, we're it, fighting him face to face, swinging uh, shots the kid. You don't want Jeff, to give him credit, do you? No, 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 credit. He comes from the back, side, side running right. a Kentucky Derby sprint in the There's quarter no of a mile yeah. and throws a shot that literally could have opened up a safe. <laughs> and hits this kid in the back Jeff, of his head. Jeff, that's what we came up Jeff, with. A term. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. We came up with the term side wrap Credit. off of this, and we've been saying this word, and I, nobody understands yeah, what it means. I, I, but they, a side wrap is basically a sucker me. punch Still, for the cooler version. On you say stole it on him yeah, with yeah. your Liverpool scouts or slang. We say side wrap. It could be called a sucker punch, but that's, you know, discrediting the fucking power of that shot and the ferocity to put that guy unconscious that's what I'm saying. and Sal, save you all give you the credit? No, Sal, it's, it's fair. It was a fucking side rap, but the guy was a giant and he was hurt. He was hurting my he dear friend. friend. He wasn't hurting me. Was he hurting me? You, I don't, he didn't if hurt you, but you know, you, know what happened, you know what happened? He was throwing haymakers at you yeah. and you moved back and you flipped backwards. I remember you rolling back, not from the punch, from the momentum of you backing up. Uh-huh. So that's why we thought like, this could get bad. For, There's weight classes like for a reason. In, in he, he looked what like I, the Hulk. Does anything come back off this? I, I'm scared come, the kid's going to watch this and we're going to have to fight him again. No, he wants no smoke. I went to school the next day. His face was sh- <laughs> fucking burgundy, <laughs> blue, yeah, he got hit white. From Everyone definitely. It wasn't good. It wasn't a great thing that we're proud of. It was just that we, we, weren't, ex- we weren't expecting it. We had to do it. And we weren't expecting and any what, of this. And uh, the stress we were under that day from that car ride home, that fucking 12 hours out in the... Boiling sun beating down on us. Shaban must have said, suck my dick over 1,500 times. Me almost dying on a roller coaster. We are, you almost died on the roller coaster. And the kid pulled out a machete. Yeah, then and the then kid pulled out a machete. So we deserved it. We can't, the guy deserved it. And then something else happened. Somebody pulled out a, 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 a more effective dick, weapon. A pistol. There you go. You yes. got your saying, your tagline yes. in the video. The guy deserved the. He deserved it, he, right? Yeah, he, right definitely, he definitely deserved it. He oh. was mad that I was getting with his girl. We were all at each other's throats. And that experience brought us all closer together and we were all best friends again. And we love the action. Okay, this episode is also brought to you by Avast. Avast is a global leader in cybersecurity for more than 30 years and trusted by over 435 million users. Thank you to Avast for supporting my channel. Avast is an all-in-one solution. Avast One helps you take control of your safety and privacy online through a range of features. Learn more about Avast One at avast.com. 
If you're like me and you got tons of stuff to hide on your computer that could be detrimental to your relationship with your family and friends, you're going to want to have Avast on your computer to help you out with cybersecurity. Avast is an award-winning antivirus that stops viruses and malware from harming your devices. It's also got firewall protection. Keep personal information secure and prevent attacks that seek to access our computers and steal our data. I know you hotshot kids out there don't think data is a big deal, but in the future you'll realize that data is actually the currency of the future. Don't let those lizards steal your data. Get Avast. Avast prevents 1.5 billion attacks every month, and with Avast One, you can confidently take control of your online world without worrying about viruses, phishing attacks, ransomware, hacking attempts, and other cyber crimes. Learn more about Avast One at Avast.com. More stories. One time we go to Atlantic City, right? Sal and Jeff were gambling. At the time, I was too young to gamble. They lost all their money. So that now, Jeff, well, we had a strategy. Jeff's club we was had mine. a strategy. Oh, yeah. They, they told me the strategy. They had on, a, tell the strategy online. They, our strategy was we're going to play roulette, either red or black. It's not going to be all reds in a row. So we'll start off with a $100 bet on red. If we win, we made money. And our keep, brain and releases keep betting, serotonin. And keep betting 100 and yeah, keep it stay at that pace so we can see how many we could win. I was ready to walk away with a hundred bucks. If I won, I would have been happy. No, you weren't. Eh. But we had we I didn't had, even get that far. <laughs> so if we lose that one, next one we'll do two hundred. If we lose that one, one, next one we'll do four hundred. Is this if the we same? Lose that one, next one we'll do eight hundred. Sal told me to do it in Vegas yesterday. Well, if you keep doubling, eventually you're gonna hit. It's a 50-50 shot minus the green, but right? You the zero. But if you lose a certain amount, you could lose a whole lot of money. Yeah, but it never happens. Max. When does it happen? It's 50-50 shot. You and Jeff. So our just me together. Just him and I. Our luck together, the entire board comes out red. We lose all of the our money. The entire board. I we, think 17 in a row. We lose all of our money. And this was Halloween at the time. <laughs> what does the deal say? He's never seen that happen in, in his life. In 33 years and <laughs> working in the casino. He said, like, guys, I've never seen this happen We before. lost all of our money. The last bet was like ridiculous. To yeah. the point where we were sick to our stomachs. 2000 bucks was probably the last bet that just was the dagger in my heart that just crushed us. And now we have to go out and have a good time tell for Tell me Halloween. what happened, Jeff. So in the let, me, let, me, let, me, let me tell you what happened. So Jeff's like, fuck, man, we got to think of a plan. And now we're the cool kids around. Jeff's got to think of a plan. Jeff's Johnny Bravo. So no, 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 no. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. He was Johnny Bravo. So they, uh, we were at Casbah, right? Casbah yeah. in Atlantic City at the Taj Mahal. Atlantic we City is like a, like a bullshit Vegas. It's we, like the East Coast bullshit version of, of Vegas. And there was a costume party that was at the club, the party we were planning on going down to that night. But before all this bullshit happened where we lost our entire life savings, it's not exciting to go out to a party I anymore. I think you're after forgetting we, that we lost. I think you're forgetting one thing that we lost as the Generates drove back to Staten Island, got more money, came back, lost again, and then went to the to Get the, the fuck out of here for real. That was Saturday. We went down Friday. I remember one hundred percent. I had you two and costumes I going back and yeah, coming yeah, yeah, back yeah, yeah, the same. So day. that yeah, night yeah. I was Losing Zach Morris. Again. I was Zach Morris. Zach Morris. And I think you were Barney Rubble or something. Also. No, I was Johnny Bravo the next time. Oh, Johnny next Bravo. Time we right, came right, back. Well, one right. night that me but and you stopped the Zach fighting. Zach Morris costume was so good at this time. And I'll find a picture. I don't give a fuck if I have to dig through my old Facebook. I'll find a picture. You won 5000 on that. I had this great costume and I looked like Zach Morris at the time from Saved by the Bell. We'll put a picture of him. I went on stage and I had to dance around like a clown and pretend to be Zach Morris. But I won the costume contest. And we had And money. I had won $5,000 back. And I was back out on top. Sal was still broken, miserable. But. I fucking won, and you were pissed off. But it remember was, what happened? I had four hundred left. Remember what I did with it? You can't remember. No, I went no. to the slot machines, the hundred dollars slots. I put the hundred dollars in the slots. I'm like, you know what? I'm playing hundred dollars slots. Fuck it. Put the hundred in, lose. Second hundred, lose. Third hundred, lose. That's it. Hundred dollars. What do I do? Do we eat? Do I get gas or do I put it in the machine? <laughs> put it in the machine. Jeff, hold my hand. Bing! Jackpot. Four or five thousand. Right? No, I think it was like twenty thousand or something. Oh, like that. it was. It was twelve thousand. It was twelve thousand. We made all of our losses back plus money to go. I mean, these are insane forget, stories. Forget about this that. is why we don't gamble no more. That's what I looked like. Exactly. <laughs> I thought that was me for a second on the screen. Holy shit. Forget about that. So me and Jeff, all our lives, ever since I met him, we loved quads, dirt bikes, motorcycles. Now, mind me, I'm, I'm 14, 15 years old. We go to a house party. We see a kid. Our friend Albert actually brought us there. Yeah. We bought Drag a, him we, into we, this. We bought us. We bought in. Uh, we bought a KX <laughs> KX two fifty. At the time, Jeff's car got seized by the police because we did a a, a stunt at a Seven Eleven. We threw a drain uh, bomb into a Seven Eleven. Nobody was harmed. It was all fake news by the police. They made a fake police report because. 9-11 was around that time and they tried to frame me as a terrorist and that's the only reason my car was impounded I lost my car so now I had to a get 2012 a 2012 Honda Accord 
Silva yeah. Honda. 2007. Cor- it was 2007, seven. and it was my And car- the emergency brake was broken because I used to pull it on. You said, Je- Jeff will be driving 60 miles an hour on his phone, He'd be Texan. in the passenger seat, and he would rip the e-brake, and the car would do a 360 <laughs> on, the, on the highway, and it would land back in the lane, and I'd be like, Siobhan, what the fuck is wrong with you? Don't ever do that again. But we oh, somehow, there it is. That's my old that's, car. That's the old car. And we would be doing 360s through fucking traffic on the freeway. And he would just r- keep ripping that. So e-brake. one day we, we we it's raining out now, right? We get the dirt bike. We always had smaller bikes. This is a two fifty. It's a big bike. We had eighty fives, one twenty fives. I said no, let me ride it. So Jeff had a car that Sal used to have that had no <laughs> free Sal into it. Dude. Chevy Malibu. Chevy, Chevy Malibu. It was older. That was Victor's car. It had it had <laughs> it had no insurance or nothing. So what happens was. Jeff gets pulled over. So I'm like, all right, he gets pulled over. I go next to the cop car. I'm revving my engine so they could come get me. So to draw the attention away because the cops are going to come get me and they were going to take another one of my cars and impound another car because it had no registration insurance and there's probably a legal something in the car <laughs> so he's on I the dirt bike the, I so kicked the cop car. as a good friend there's a, there it is that's exactly the color too wow, holy, shit. holy shit how the fuck did, <laughs> the champagne grandma fucking color of the car so the cop's outside the, uh, sorry as, as a good friend he goes I kick, like I kick to the chase cop me car. I kicked the cop car boom I kicked the cop car he looks at Jeff he looks at me he starts chasing me mind you the dirt bike fell it's raining <laughs> dirt bike falls the clutch on the dirt bike snaps off so you can't change gears uh, I can't change gears my fingers are bleeding it's a brand new dirt bike he doesn't it's not comfortable riding it at all my fingers are bleeding I jump I jump off the bike now 250s are big I'm now I'm 15 years old I'm I'm pushing the dirt bike it's off I kick started I jump on I don't know how because it's miraculously, to go. yeah. I I have no idea. It was so hard to start the bike when we had plenty of time. Now, in the midst of a police chase, this guy miraculously starts it like this, like fucking nothing, like the movie Place on the Pines. You get on and you start blasting off, and you get away from the police. If Jeff was smart at the time, even though we got away with it, he's chasing the cop car. Trying to get the cops away from me. I also wanted to film it too. Yeah, it so was, he had all. He, I wish you had all that. All that. I footage, lost that right? laptop. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever the case is, cops are chasing me down my tail. So the, the road goes like this. It bears, it bears right, but slowly. I hit gravel. I fly about twenty feet in the air. <laughs> just behind the cops. Jeff hits the cop car. The cops start chasing Jeff. He gets away. The cops stop and not know if they should come after me. Or come after Jeff. <laughs> Jeff gets away. I run to my friend's house. Two minutes later, Jeff calls me. He's like, he's out of breath. He's walking the dirt bike. I he's went like, back for our bike. He went back for I the bike. I was not losing another vehicle to the <laughs> NYPD. <laughs> yeah. He already won down the Austin. Awesome Mind you, yeah. my whole body's full of blood. <laughs> Road rash all over. <laughs> Road rash all over. There it is. There was a crash. There was a crash. It was very similar to this situation. Look, it was like a new bike. It was old. You know, it was it wasn't a new bike. It was an old bike that you but bought off Craigslist. It was new to us. It was new to us, but it was a piece of shit, and we had to figure out, you know, get the feel <laughs> of the bike. That's exactly what's going this on. This is exactly what happened. And I was filming this with, and I didn't have a camera, but I had a Mac with a webcam on it. Maybe so they I found used to it. Film they might with found my it. laptop. I used to film the videos. And they didn't find it. What happened? No, was, they might have found it. Oh, I hope not. No, I, I lost it when I was moving. The movers, I think, stole the fucking laptop. But can we cut for a minute? I'm about to die. Why? I don't know. I drank water a little too fast. Actually, uh, for am I allowed to go and yeah. take a piss? Yeah, you guys can go take a piss. We we can we can handle this. All right. He, he don't know. He just fucked up. <laughs> yeah, you get, get him when he gets back. Yeah, you got to get him when he gets back. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna end the show really nice tonight. No. Oh yeah. Yeah. You should hit him immediately when he comes back. Yeah. But that's what friends no, are for. Him. Look, that's my best friend. Yeah, of course. We all love each other, and it's yeah. been great having you guys here. By the way, I'm I very, needed this. Very, 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 very proud of you. Thank Give you. Me a pause. I'm proud of you too. Thank you. The other day we were in the car and we're doing all this crazy shit. We were doing the billboards, fucking vandalizing stuff. Yeah. And we just were like, I can't believe we're fucking successful. Out of all the people that were in our hometown that went to school, did their homework, and actually followed the rules, we were the worst. We we were the worst. We used to walk into high school and the security guards were scared of us. I would take my shirt off, remember? And they'd say, Mr. Wittick, put your shirt on. Yeah. And I'd say, fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm off the weed. But I'm back on the juice, baby, and I'm showing these babies off because steroids are expensive. I remember, I remember. But I wasn't even on steroids. I was skinny as fuck. He was just shredded. No, I, I wasn't even shredded. I was skinny no, fat you at was, the time. You, you were shredded. I bench pressed. I yeah. All I did was bench press. No other workouts. I would just bench press. So before Jeff left to Miami, because you something's burning. 
All right, burn the cop. Yeah, you think back. So who gives a fuck, right? You're rich. That couch is very yeah. expensive. Is it? Did you burn that? Yeah, a little bit. It's all right. I'll paint it. I'm a contractor. <laughs> so now you have a very successful construction business. Do you think you are jeopardizing that by telling these stories? No, no, I don't think I, not at all. You really burned my fucking nice couch. A I smell bit. it. Liam, you give me the pass. You got the pass. I love you. You got the pass. Liam's 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 my man. I know him for about a week. We had some hot to hot for a couple of days. Yes, we did. And uh, it all worked out great. I'm happy you had a good time out I here. I actually like Liam more than I like you. It's fine. Liam, can we go to the gym tomorrow? Yeah, let's go. I went to the gym. By the way, off topic, I thought I was a, a fucking street fight killer. I went I went in a boxing ring for one minute, <laughs> and I almost had a panic attack. You learned a lot about yourself in there, Anxiety huh? attack, but I will still fuck anybody up. So that's the confidence that we all have. For some, odd, for, for some odd reason, confidence. all of us have such confidence. Now, Sal here, I I don't want to talk about He's our, the dear, most our mature dear friend, here. Tyson Fury, but Sal... Was like I would love to fight Tyson Fury, yeah. the heavyweight champion he of the world, that. the best boxer in the world right now. He would fuck him up. And Sal, we all have this weird confidence that we can fucking win any fight. I believe I don't that know. though. I believe I can fuck anyone up like the other. We're all sick Vegas. in the head. I don't well, believe I, it. We, we, I would just like to do it. I, I want to experience it. I think yeah, I can beat anyone happens. on the street. You know yeah. what's funny? That's Liam? my mentality. When, when you put me in the gym with you, I swear to God, in my mind, you guys were spawn. I know I was going with Liam. In my mind, I said, I'm going to fuck him up. He's a fucking professional fighter <laughs> yeah. with the gloves. He could have seriously hurt you. Of course. He's a, he's a street. Seriously but hurt in, you. In the streets, it's a whole different ball game. Yeah, and because I agree, I, and I, I fuck I, it up I, on the streets as well. I talk to you. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do on the street? Hit him with a Snapple bottle? They're bro. plastic now. No, but I could side. I could talk to him. Tell like him a man. to suck your dick. You can't. We no. got to neutralize for that too. Take serious? it out. I'm Jeff, in a street I'm fight. In a street fight. What are you going to do? Fuck you up. Shaban, you stand no chance. I broke this fucking hand on your fucking uh, hard you square skull. I have a video I say, listen, it. I love you two guys. I say you guys get in this middle of this place right here and just see who taps Liam, out first. Let's Grappling talk, only. Let's talk Grappling only. No, I'll do it. No hold strikes. Hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I want to see a triangle from the Wittick regime. You want to see a triangle? Hold on. I, I want to see a triangle. I could, I could, I could you take you out. You put Nerf in a nice triangle yesterday. But <laughs> I, was also has that out. I was demonstrating how it could be That was a nice. No, I know I didn't do it hard. Now that you guys have been out here for about a week, you saw me in action. You saw what I do for a living. You I'm done. Who is that, Carmine? Yeah, it is Carmine. Keep your mic, mic uh, close, Sal. Sal. Try to. You guys need to try oh, to keep close? your mic, mics like. No, I had. Now we're even. <laughs> <laughs> How'd that feel? It was easy. It went easy. Did it hurt? <laughs> we're even. Oh, I didn't get it yet. Well, okay. do you know that I went outside and got another one? <laughs> <laughs> I got a fucking a, a comb switchblade from Jeff Barbershop. I got this that will shut down the whole fucking thing. If I pull don't this, baby. Don't look do at it. that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I, I got hit one already. I don't care. I got hit one already. That might fucking swing off any second. We all got weapons. Let me you know? tell you something. This thing will genuinely slice your fucking square head off. Uh, it? Yeah, this thing is sharp. Wow, that was good. Oh, oh, laptop, 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 laptop. The the Jeff, you almost killed me just now. Oh. Let me get that. Let me get that. Let me get that. Oh, damn. Did I almost get you after? Yeah, it's all right. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he can't break it. Can't break it. Slice that with a pumpkin. I'm not. I'm not really that good with a sword, though. Wow. Oh shit. Very nice. Look at this. Oh, that's good. 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 Four, pieces, down. four of us. We're not throw it on the floor. Throw it on the floor. And you asked me the other night. You said, "Yo, Jeff, what are you gay?" <laughs> You said that to me. Yo, yeah, what are you I fucking did. gay? I did, I did say that. Why don't you fuck girls? Yeah. You said that. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I'm really proud. Impr- you know what? You know what you told me? He said that. Yeah. Girls are not boys. G- girl, girls no, are not- I did not say that. <laughs> he didn't say that. He, he, said, not boys. he said girls are not worth it. I'm focusing on my career. I've been working very hard for it. I told you this is one of the most stressful weeks of my life. I've put in my life's work yeah. into this week. This product launch yeah. is... Everything I've done since I first met you at that barber shop, and I became a successful barber, and you were sweeping up hair because your cousin owned the shop, yeah. and I took everything I learned from then till now, 15 years of experience to build this company that I was launching, so I was a little stressed, and I wanted to make sure everything went well. Now, if I went out just out fucking, just fucking randomly trying to get girls and uh, for the wrong reasons, how does that benefit me? It doesn't at all, and we're very proud of you. Me, yeah. and, me and Sal were talking about this the other day. Were you actually? You, no, of course. We'll talk course, about it now. You're because you're going to get to an empirical point where you could say, you know what? Now I made where that level that I wanted to attain was, and now I can coast and not say go out and 
do things with girls, you know. Yeah, I'll find the right girl that supports exactly, me and exactly. is able to. You can focus on that. I'm able to work on, her into my exactly. my athlete, career. An athlete, yeah. Like. yeah, I would love a girl that goes out for runs in the morning. Yeah, exactly. like we, and we, go on on se- we, we don't run together. We go separately because I'll probably love. be slightly faster than her, yeah. and I don't want it to be competitive. <laughs> so I want her to go do her own run. I'll go do my own. I'll put on headphones. I'll listen to music. I like the girl that like time you're, you're you get, the race up Runyon. I love that. That girl, one time I, I raced a girl up Runyon and I didn't get her number and I've been thinking about it ever since. But pizza? I smoked there. Yeah. No, but all jokes aside, though, we're, we're, we, are, we are proud of you. You came a long way. And uh, even Sal had mentioned that anything you you put your mind to, like like training and boxing. I think you could fuck all these YouTubers, take tacos up. It's not even It's not even real. You, yeah. have a, you have a different mentality. You're very obsessive when it comes to what your goal is in front of you. You have a main goal, and you don't focus on the ancillary goals. You just go right for that. Yes. Killer instinct, if, and if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm much more focused the now. Top and tomato. I, and you I, go for the top tomato. Yeah, and I owe a lot of that to you know identifying a goal, seeing where I want to be, and what I have to do to get that and make the sacrifice I need to make. And yeah. a lot of those are fucking the dumb shit we used to do. Yeah. But now I'm in a position where I can achieve my dreams and And i'm not gonna fucking no i'm not gonna slip up yeah i'll fuck around i'll throw a smoke bomb at you i'll maybe fucking side wrap somebody (laughs) or something for a a smoke bomb at you how are we gonna this is uh totally off topic that we're talking about how that austin kid the one that uh didn't hung up the phone on you yeah how, how do we set that up? I, I even, think he's. I think he wanted to have a tennis match or something. Yeah, I, I don't, don't think it's worth it. I don't think that kid's really built like that. No, I think he, he was wanted, talking about all that stuff. But he yeah. had like a rainbow colored hat on, and he yeah. was like talking about like yeah, yeah. like uh, playing with rattles. And no, stuff. but listen, I, did you watch the fight? Because uh, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not about social media. All I watch is Jeff. My nieces and my nephews love Jeff. They love Jeff. Uh, shout out to Aiden and Ariana. They love him. So I was like, he said Bryce Hall. I don't know who the fuck Bryce Hall is. Very nice kid, though, after we met him. I liked him a lot. Only because he was petrified. Am I right or wrong? No, he wasn't petrified. I think he was just understood that he's younger and that it's not worth to jeopardize his relationship with Jeff and possibly also have a bad reputation after that. Look, we're real people. You know, we're all real people. We didn't get into this to just get cool on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, just get a bunch of followers. Yeah, no, he's a nice kid, that kid, Bryce. I like him Even now, at this point, I think I have too many subscribers. I would like less. I mean, I appreciate all of them, but I'm just at a point where, like, I don't care to be that much bigger. I just want to be happy with the work I'm making. That's why I'm so happy to have you guys here. Yeah. And we made that video, and I'm so proud of it. I love it, because it was real. Yeah. We did exactly what we used to do. And even Liam clicked right with us in there. He was yeah. hitting okay. people. That slap you threw was epic. No, we shook though. people no, down. <clears throat> they were all actually nice guys. We went yeah, to, we, and it was tough. It was That's what I'm saying. You, when you called us, you said Sal. Shabar. We got a strong We want people. you guys coming out here because we got some YouTube guys. They're all fighters. They're boxers. They're this and that. We're going to go up to them. We're going to mess around. We're going to shake them up a little bit and then hopefully provoke one of them to get into an actual real fight. Yeah. And if it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Shabon, what size hat do you wear? Like a 15? Screen. Seven, three, eights. What size? Does this fit you? It's a snapback. I no, can no. Put, I'll, put, I'll disappear if I put this hat on. Listen I'll completely put on your head, take, 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 take your things off and put on I your head. I can't, I can't. I'm working, I'm hosting a show. I'm a the host only, of it. The only reason I, I did this is to show you Would you go to fucking Jimmy product. Fallon and tell him to put this hat on? Put product. my gigantic hat on? Put a fucking tarp over your whole body? Would you do that at Jimmy Kimmel? Go fuck yourself. Suck my dick. Suck my dick. Yeah, there you go. All right, we talked a lot about Siobhan and uh, his taglines and what he liked to do growing up, all this tough guy shit, I'll beat everybody up, I'll fuck everybody up. I want to get into Sal, because Sal, there's a lot, Sal is a very intelligent, Original, creative, just you, Italian, you got a big res- heart. Respectful man. Yeah, respectful. Great, great appreciate writer. that. I appreciate that, guys. Thanks. Sal has one of the largest music libraries up here in his brain. I remember when we were kids, we would drive around in the in the CLS and the Mercedes. Sal's music library on his iPod. He had Amazing. about forty thousand songs, and he knew every single song, and he would be able to tell you why that song was made, what it was about, who every the person lyric. was, where he was from, just every detail about every song. You have a very interesting brain. He's a marvel of modern science. The guy is cured. That's our dear friend, Michael Bisping. I've never met anybody like you, so it's really nice to have both of you guys out here. I've never met anybody like you, but you're a sick fuck. You're sick in the head. And yeah, it's just nice to get back to my roots. <laughs> and we picked up right where we left off, all of us. We didn't even have a conversation. So we didn't even talk about nothing, about yeah. how, what's going on. We just clicked. It was amazing. Yeah. Just a random FaceTime. Hey, guys, he's busy this weekend. Can you come out here across the country? But yeah, you guys, no hesitation. You popped right out, fucking came out here together. You got drunk on the plane. You already started fighting on the plane. 
<laughs> uh, Shaban was making videos Started fucking with him on the your plane. On the plane. Yeah. Off the plane with the K in his name. We love oh, you, Carmine. Yeah, yeah. And, we, and then we picked up Carmine, who was not one of my hometown friends, but he pretended to be one for the video just because he's a, a very funny character. <laughs> he was perfect. He's slimy. Fuck. I had a good time with him, but he's Sal a, he's immediately. A he's a good dude. Got in his head and broke him down because he had a K in his last name. I think we talked about it in the last podcast, but I don't remember anymore. There's no secret. I used to drink a lot, especially for a lot of these stories. So that one time we were down in Atlantic City. I know a lot of these stories are around a lot Atlantic, Atlantic City because yeah. we went down there a lot. That was our little getaway. It's like Vegas. It's like Vegas for where we live. It's nice. It's a B grade Vegas. So it's not that yeah, bad. Yeah, it's, it's a nice Connecticut, right? Uh, Jersey, Jersey, yeah, it's all the way south, Philly. South Jersey, all the way down. We would go down there a lot, and especially around this time of the year, we would we would do this stuff because we're like Halloween, Halloween we and it. we would always go down. Casbah was the best. Yeah, costume parties and all that Kasbah, stuff. Casbah, we had Casbah on Smash. <laughs> yeah, so there's that one time that we never got to get to the end of that story, but I went back there with the Johnny Bravo costume, and now these this costume had fake muscles on. One of five thousand. You didn't and, give me a dollar. No, I won from the Zach Morris, and I didn't give you a dollar. No, because you didn't deserve oh, it. I went up there and yourself. performed. I went up there and performed. I, we we so knocked I out that seven money. kids. We yeah. knocked out people, but we didn't get money for that. That I was the one next more night. Those, one more those. No, Shaban, that was that night. That was the, a different night. So now this is the next night where I had my my next costume, which was Johnny Bravo with a fake muscle suit, and we got into fights now with guys that were tremendous that were muscles. on actual steroids, and we were knocking them out oh, left no. and right. We had chaos with yeah. fake muscles. I think it was a two on seven that night with <laughs> bouncers included. Yeah. And somehow we got out of there and the bouncers took our sides. The Some ones that were fucking ha Some way we were able to sleep people with the power of these fake muscles. And that just goes to show you how much confidence can do for you, you know, in a fight. You can hold your own just if you think. I believe these muscles are real. With a, with a little bit of alcohol and... I, <laughs> crazy. I believe these muscles are real. Yeah, and it would work. You literally had to do this and blow them up every 10 minutes. And he's yeah. sitting in the place blowing them up every few It was minutes. a fake puffy muscle suit. For every time Bravo. he hit one person, he'd blow them back up for the next guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> So that was one situation. And every time we got down to Atlantic City, we would just get fucked. We would drink. We would fucking go nuts. And that one time we got into it, we were outside of the casino. I remember us running from the cops. I don't know why. I don't remember anything oh, from the story. Oh, we had the fight with the bouncers in Bulgata. And we jumped in the cab. We made the guy drive. Yeah. And then when we made the guy drive, he didn't have change. You had a $100 bill on you. He didn't have change. And he wouldn't let us out of the car. He wanted us to go somewhere else. Whatever. He, he wanted to take us to a bank or something. We were like, we have to get out of here because... We just had a serious altercation in this. We were club. banned from Bogota now. Yeah. We were already no, we were already so banned. Still banned. I'm still <laughs> banned. We were already banned at that time. We were in Merma and like it, it got banned. We're, yeah, with all bounces. Yeah, this guy got aggressive. Pretty solid African man, and we wound up fighting with him. After we fight with him, how did that start? Because he wouldn't let us out of the cab. He wanted us to. He wanted okay, to, so he wanted to drive us to like a, a bank or something. So to we get fought change. with him. We no, because Sal didn't him. have change. We tried yeah. fighting with him in the cab. Yeah, we fought with him in the cab. The guy wound up calling the cops from the cab as we left the car and ran. And within about 60 seconds, there were 15 Atlantic City cop cars surrounding the streets. And we're in, me and you are in backyards. Mm -hmm. And we are running and we're getting through backyards. Hopping, hopping fences. Fence. And then we get to this point in life where there's two fences. And now uh, that, that's probably one of my best talents, hopping a fence. Yeah, you're pretty good at it. Fly over a fence. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't that good. I'm better at like running through the fence. I'm like a pole vaulter and I don't need the pole. I can yeah. just fucking and like yeah. get yeah. over it's, a fence. It's, it's yeah. Olympic style. Yeah. I'm more like Roadrunner, like from anime. Like, what's that? Tomb Raider. Yeah. Just bust the, the hole through and the you just see the shape of his body. Yeah, you see the shape going through. That's more of my style. Through the wall. We get to a point. And we hear cop sirens and everywhere. We're like, listen, we're, we're going to get in trouble because we already fought with bounces and now we fought with a cab guy. We're going to get in trouble. We were contemplating going out to the ocean and just swimming out. Yeah. And maybe the cops would give up if we just, because you're on, on Atlantic the beach. City beach. beach. You're in the Jersey swim. Shore. Just swim out through the ocean and maybe go to Europe Two. <laughs> from fucking swimming to get away from these cops. Two fences, Liam. Two. I go, Jeff, you make this decision. I made enough bad decisions tonight. Which fence are we jumping? Now, granted, I had a lot of illegal contraband on Yeah, me. he had a lot of which is now legal marijuana in his pocket, right in his front coat, leather jacket, James Dean pocket. He goes, that fence, let's go. He runs over it. I run through it. We get through it. 40 cop cars right there. <laughs> the picks the wrong fence. Don't move. Get down on the floor. They're all pointing guns at us. We get down to it the floor. It was a perfect lineup. Like it was like a fucking police officer's funeral where they all line up with the fucking horns. Oh, it gets worse. 
Do you, do you remember the, the Doberman pinches? Oh, <laughs> yeah. One inch from your face. So now they get us down on our knees like this. And when they have hands us hands heads. on the head, guns drawn, dogs, the fucking police dogs, the Doberman. <laughs> rabid. <laughs> going after him because they must smell the pot. The cops don't know what's going on. The dogs are biting at my, at my face like yeah. this, getting this close. Pulling your soul from your mouth. <laughs> like with, with their each and every yeah. Yeah. Attack. <laughs> and how the fuck did we get out of this situation? They took the money from me. You don't remember? Oh, yeah. They took me to the side. And they're like, listen, we can make this better. The cop, I, the cops goes, this, uh, I mean, this is a long time ago. So I'm sure that cop is Who retired cares? and yeah. he's happy. But, so we're not getting him That's in trouble. living off that money. But he was like, listen, the cab driver's here. He wants some money for you guys that didn't pay him. And then yeah. whatever else you guys have in your pocket, we'll just make believe that that old money is all gone. And we'll, we'll leave you guys alone tonight. So now I know that he's got pot in his pocket and the dogs are ready to eat him. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just make this. Let's cut our losses with some damage control. I was like, listen, officer, you can go in my pockets, whatever I have, take it. And he took it and they let us go. They wanted to let us how go. How much is in your pocket? It wasn't that much. It was like $2,200 or something. But it was enough for them to say, you know what? Let us see, go. See you guys later. <laughs> and they let us go. 2000 bucks, And we fucking skidded out of that situation somehow. It was a miracle. And we went back to the casino on that night. <laughs> yeah. And then we went right back into it. Yeah. <laughs> fucking insane. We were all nuts. We were all fucking crazy. We don't, just fucking yeah. love the action. It, stop it, Jeff. Don't. He's well, I don't understand how don't. this pinball will rip out. Jeff, stop it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? You know? It's Halloween. Don't, don't, Jeff. Would you guys ever consider relocating out here and we do our entourage style lifestyle that we always once dreamed of? I told you guys a story. When I ran into Turtle... And we were doing a, a job together. We booked a, a job together, and I got to speak to Turtle, and I fangirled. And I told him, I was like, Siobhan, you're blocking my camera. The main host show. You're blocking bad, the main host bad, of the show. Bad, you're blocking the host camera. Oh, Siobhan. Siobhan! Don't fucking throw that at me. Get the fuck out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Siobhan, it's going to burn the whole house. This doesn't even translate on audio. Shabbat! Suck my dick. You're gonna burn my fucking house down. Have a happy Halloween, guys. I had a blast having these guys back around, but I cannot wait for them to leave because we will all either kill each other or end up in jail if they stay here any longer. Take from our mistakes and learn from them. And don't act like us because we are all sick in the head. But hopefully it makes for good entertainment. And you know what? It's that time of the year. If you feel like getting a little chaotic, getting a little spooky, dressing up in a crazy costume and, and feeling a little nuts, go for it. Have fun. Now we're going to go to Halloween Horror Nights and probably start some trouble there. Probably all end up in jail. So if we're not here next week, you know where we are. L.A. County, baby.